welcome back to Body Mod TV. I'm your host Adam, and today we're going shopping to buy the first set of stuff for the shop. Again, um, I'm meeting up with the owner of the security company at the shop, and we're going back to the stores to rebuy everything that was stolen on their credit cards. Ooh, I don't know if you can see that. His license plate, 666. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like a lot of rain today, which means. Everything's gonna either get soaked or I'm gonna have to make multiple trips to keep everything covered. But uh, either way, it's gotta get done and now I get to do it by myself because there's no one else available to help me today because it's a working day. Looks like we're gonna have a little bit of rain today. Nothing like moving tons of really heavy boxes in the rain. I'm here. Now we just gotta meet up with the guy. Yesterday Alexis called me to tell me that one of the um, not biggest in the sense of size because it was actually really tiny but a big shop in Condado which was an area I was looking to open a shop uh, they just sold or closed not really sure what the specifics are but looks like a lot of people are a lot of tattoo artists are now looking for work and obviously ones that are reputable and have a good client following so I was supposed to, he wants me to uh, meet up with one of the guys that was working there so I'm pretty excited about that because we are looking for tattoo artists um, and then also, I just showed up here and I went to go get a coffee and the security guard asked me if I was the guy opening the tattoo store. I said, yeah. So a friend of his, uh, he's working out of his house right now, but he just left a tattoo shop out of Condado and he's looking for a new place to work. How ironic. So uh, I don't even know if it's the same guy or not. I'm getting the name. He's getting it. He's texting it over to me now. But uh, so it looks like people are looking for a new shop and I'm looking for artists. So that's like a blessing of good fortune right there. So this is a check for the exact amount of the items that are missing. I'm happy. I think we're all happy. And now we can finish this. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> so the original investigative police officers just showed up. He's over there. To uh, now take, I guess, my statement and proof of what happened. Only three days later. <laughs> hours later we finally have a case number so that's just the beginning of the very long process <laughs> so that's my new buddy the sign guy we just talked for the initial layout for the sign of the shop uh, for live one sink tattoo and piercing I have to send him the artwork and he says he can get started tomorrow so we're going to do purple lettering with purple backlight black tattoo and piercing with white neon backlight so it should look pretty pimp locksmith is not here to change the lock and then Finally, we can breathe. <laughs> Hello. Hi. What's going on, man? I'm Adam. This dude's fast. I like that. Locks <laughs> are put in, and they're costing me $200. They're expensive, but $200 is a lot less than all the merchandise being stolen out of my shop. So, to me, it's worth it. I'm also having a uh, kind of like a barricade bar put in the back door because that back door lock just sucks. Another thing to keep in mind is for little services like this where it's a one-man guy operation his own little business, offer to pay in cash and you get a discount pretty much every time. So ask for the special cash price. I just saved $25 by paying cash as opposed to a check because, you know, that shit ain't going to get reported. But I still get a receipt so I can write it off. The sign guy has been here and gone. The lock guy has been here and gone. The insurance guy has been here and gone. The police have been here and gone. So today has been a very eventful day, thankfully. What makes this awesome for shopping is like, I mean, I got Home Depot here, Walmart, Sam's Club, they're right there. Costco's like right around the corner this way. And the shop is right on the other side of that uh, parking garage. So I'm literally like, you know, two minutes from everything. So if we ever forget something, oh crap, all I gotta do is just run over here and buy it. So this way it keeps my costs down so I don't buy, a thinking th buy things thinking you know, oh well, I might need this, so I can buy as needed, which will save me a lot of money. First up on our rebuying is Sam's Club. So I got my safe again. This thing is heavy as fuck. Let's go. Next up, Home Depot. Here we go, more shopping. I love shopping. Here we go. Got pretty much everything I needed from here. Now let's get out of here. Okay, everything's all loaded up. Rain looks pretty imminent. So I better haul ass and get to the shop and get this stuff inside before it gets wet. It's boogie. This time I figured out how to get the truck back here. <laughs> Unless I have to carry out our new keys. Do -do -do. 
Bam. There we go. Freaking horses. Wasn't expecting that.